<laughs> right, under ten percent. I used to be uh, intimidated to read uh, the guy that he always said he he quite loved, which was Algernon Blackwood, right? Who wrote a, a story called The Willows. And then I went back and I finally read it, and I was like, wow, this is written in such a clear and less like. <laughs> obtuse way you know the thing about hp lovecraft it feels like he's writing code sometimes and i, I love it as a big fan of, of horror and sci-fi um he he will do this classic hp move he puts on the hp sauce i'd call it where he says this monster's so crazy i could not describe it to you but he lets you let me describe it for like five to like five paragraphs right. but it's a, yeah but it's like it, it, he describes everything in those five paragraphs but he describes nothing and it's like it just right, lets your right. imagination run wild. And for you know, for someone who has an active yeah. imagination, that's like that's more terrifying than anything that you could possibly do. Uh, oh, this is this is the guy that wrote the Harry Potter books. Yes, <laughs> yeah. five of the how many Harry Potter books? Are there ten? Five, seven? Five, seven. No, five of the seven. He wrote five of the seven. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. They handed it off. <laughs> I mean, it was, they gave it, he yeah. had a, he had to either read J.K. The Bible Rowling or is his pen name. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> and, and and with this, you know, I want to I want to thank you guys for uh letting me uh join you on this wild ride and I, I bet oh. I I bet you're getting weird stuff too, man, about pe people commenting. I hope somebody's commenting with proof of the Silurian hypothesis, right? Hell yeah. yeah. I want to see it. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, well, yeah, just, we got the we got the fucking anti-Kythera mechanism. That's all yeah. the proof right there. That's all I need. <laughs> I was thinking about that too, man. That like the Baghdad batteries. Um, There's some crazy shit out there. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. It's crazy, and that's the thing. You really don't know. People, some of the smartest people in the world, are working around the clock. And, to uh, all out. I mean, we, we talk. We go back just not that far, and like we talk about like, yeah. the pyramids all the time, right? Yeah, just like all I, these, I mean, these ancient like, structures that are like. We don't really know, but this must have been humans. But now it's like it's a whole, it's like a lost tech, like a lost way of building. We just don't really know. Talk, talk about Gobekli Tepe's fucking middle of nowhere, nowhere near water. Oh yeah. They backfill the fucking they backfill the superstructure, and it's seven thousand years before they said anything else could have been built like that. There here is a structure. I mean, it's like but you know, they backfilled it. It doesn't make any sense. Shit. If that's not evidence of that. some sort of pre-existing widespread civilization that had technological advantage that we didn't know about i don't know what is i mean it could have just been uh you know like a party venue yeah yeah they're like <laughs> a bit, cover it up <laughs> yeah. no, people go way out of the way to visit you know like bonnaroo or red rocks or you know all, all these sort of things maybe that was just like where they got down you know yeah <laughs> but it was a full yeah. moon parties back in the day that's <laughs> and that's but that's one of like you said that's the one of the most uh, appealing things about the site learning hypothesis is that yes it is totally possible it is something that um you could have had and we're not talking about like maybe not spacefaring maybe not you know atomic age not exactly no there. fossil maybe fuels no plastic age, but like aztec age stone age like a, a neolithic oh, something like that yeah that's Dino dinosaurs possible. were on the earth for millions of years mm. like like there are species of Hundreds dinosaurs of that millions existed of longer years. than humans and mm. if you're gonna be like Look. they didn't do anything that whole time or there wasn't something out there that did something with that time, I'd be like, eh, well, the crazy, kind of the craziest thing we didn't talk about, and we gotta, let, we gotta let Ben go here real quick, but just before we let, we let him go, as I know you've talked about, and we've talked about it before, how rare and highly improbable fossils are to form. Oh, and that 99.9% yeah. .9 of species probably did not fossilize in the historic record, and we will never find exi their existence ever. There, there's no proof that they ever were here. The, we've only found a few thousand actual skeletons of dinosaurs. We found a lot of bones and, yeah. you know, like finger bones and could like toe imagine, bones. Could you imagine if the oils and shit that we're fucking mining were, were that's like ancient technology that we're just like, oh yeah, this is naturally occurring, but realistically, <laughs> that was their waste. Sort of, this was some sort of like naturally <laughs> oh, occurring. That was their landfills. So we're just fucking powering all our shit through Powered their fucking up. dumps. Yeah, no, I could see it. Also, yeah, the the fossil thing is is. Is true. I think a lot of times you don't realize just how how just so all the conditions so have to be perfect for a fossil to occur. Yeah, yeah. It's very much a Goldilocks, especially situation. a whole skeleton fossil. Like you get like a bone or a tooth, yeah, or which like, even which makes that one ankylos ankylosaur 
like perfectly oh, preserved. Yeah, perfectly, that makes it even Perfect. more yeah, impressive to be like, that's mm -hmm. fucking amazing. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah. fossils are amazing. You know, I was, I was having a really weird conversation with someone a while back, and, and we were like, what is what is the idea of a legacy? What do you, what do you leave for the world? Right. And, um, one person was like, well, I guess, you know, I'm, uh, my kids, I got two kids. I love them. They're going to carry on after me. And then this one guy, let me give you the other people's example. This one guy was like, I think I want to be fossilized. <laughs> and then we, I was like, wait, like wait, what do you mean? He's like, yeah, like a dinosaur uh, bone, you know, put me in the museum. Uh, I'll be, I'll be fossilized. And I, uh, I respect the shit out of that guy for thinking in the long term. That's a like yeah. millions of longest. years plan. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I got too much shame to even be donate to Body Works. To be honest, I don't want anyone <laughs> seeing me naked. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't have skin left, but like, yeah, you're on a bathtub. Your penis, your tiny penis, would be long just guessing, decomposed. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't. Uh, uh, I think you should. I, I don't know how how it works. Um, where where you're at, man? But uh, Braden, I would think carefully and do a lot of research before donating your body or agreeing to because <laughs> at least here in the u.s they've been treated pretty egregiously at times against Ooh. the wishes of the donors we blow Come shit on. up get your shit together yeah, I told all my, i've told all my friends to do in the uk like too Aragon. actually <laughs> wow uk yeah. looks that way too yeah. all right just before we let you go ben i just want you, you gave us a couple quotes in your notes that you sent over and i thought they were like pretty interesting because these guys frank and schmidt they're they're legit. They're legit. Like top in their field. They're not saying like, "Oh, there's dinosaur people," but they're they just just pondering the idea. Like, what if? What if this is something we should look at in the future? And maybe if we find the right signals to detect, maybe we will find evidence that there was a pre-human, not even mammalian. It could be something we have no idea. Like, we're because we're think we always say we've been think, saying like we're thinking like humans, like what we would have done yeah, or what we what will we do, what we know. But they say, in the end, they say, there's an interesting paradox in considering the anthropogenic footprint of a geological time scale. The longer a human civilization lasts, the larger the signal one would expect in the record. However, the longer a civilization lasts, the more sustainable its practices would need to be to have become in order to survive. So you become more efficient, more environmental. You leave less of a footprint by the end of the civilization, which is, which is when... Like the footprint of your civilization would be the most. When you're the most advanced, you have the most people, the most interconnected society. But at that time, you would actually have the least footprint in the record if done right, if you're sustainable. So that's like an interesting thing to say. Like maybe there was a civilization of some kind, millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions that got buried. Like we, this is a topic we could talk about for a long time. Like all the subduction zones of all the plates of the oh. earth and stuff that gets ground down and fucking ba turned back into molten rock and spit back up through like the, we're like we're talking on like we as that we said at the start like we're on we're one page of a 10,000 page book of the history of the planet and there's we really don't know much like even about like last sentence <laughs> like yeah, like, last yeah exactly we, we even don't know much book. about yeah. us as humans we only know a few thousand years and we've said like oh yeah we keep pushing it back hundreds of thousands is it 50s at 70 is a hundred like we don't really know but in six thousand years we've gone from what they say like whole hunter gathered to now we have fucking starlink and space travel so i thought that was pretty interesting like what could have been there and what is sea levels have risen 500 feet like there's yeah. so many things that could just completely disintegrate a civilization quickly and in our modern buildings as soon as roofs fail the water gets in plants overgrow within a few hundred years like it's gone it's covered up in forest and if you're not low we know what to look for it's gone you, you wouldn't see it you would not everybody see it. call into work tomorrow on account of existential dread mm. boom <laughs> there you go thinking about mortality boss stare at the water the sky i don't think i'll be very productive today it'd just be better yeah. if I stay home. <laughs> too much drudgery <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you know, like, we're, we're all gonna we're all gonna die right you you know that right uh, <laughs> yeah. uh fuck it i'll send the email all right <laughs> yeah wait, no big deal Anyways, it's a really cool topic, and I'm really glad you uh, reached out to come 
someone on and speak about it because it's, it's thanks, super fun. Thank you so much for having me. Um, this is like this, I, I'm really happy that uh, we're able to talk about this stuff. Now I can't wait to uh, I, I can't wait to talk more with you all in the future. We are at the very end of 2022. We've survived a lot of stuff. So mm-hmm. let's let's try to get together in uh, 2023, oh, yeah. assuming this whole thing doesn't burn down, right? <laughs> Hell yeah. So now, ben, uh, even, then, go, well, even then, we can podcast as it's on fire, right? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll dance to the... We'll go down with the ship. style. Yeah, 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 go down with the ship. We'll just set up, uh, a, ben, ta- we'll set up a nice table. We'll, I mean, microphones and infrastructure will be all down, so we'll just use sticks. We'll just... Yeah, we'll, do it, we'll do it we'll live. You know, we'll, have a, we'll have a little sign. <laughs> we'll say, um, what do you think about the end? You know? <laughs> be on our show, and we'll, we'll give you some bread. <laughs> awesome. Ben, for people who have never heard you speak before, they're living under a rock. But uh, where, 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 yeah, where can they where can they find your podcast? Where can they find more about you? Sure. Uh, thanks so much, uh, guys. You can find uh, you can find me in any number of places. Uh, most particularly, check out stuff they don't want you to know. Uh, again, <laughs> we would have picked a shorter name if we thought we'd be going this long. Uh, <laughs> it, uh, we we cover a lot of a lot of stuff that would interest you if you're a fan of alien theorists, which I am. Uh, you'll also be oh right I'm supposed to tell you about the book we made a oh book. yeah the book Ooh, it's called shit. stuff they don't want you to know so I know they're legit published get it get it for how'd you even book. get that published <laughs> <laughs> a lot of going back and forth with writer uh, with uh, publishers and legal departments actually <laughs> a lot work. but uh, but um, we were tart on that if you'd like to learn more about weird stories of the past human civilization go to ridiculous history uh, and then if you want to find me on the internet, I am in a burst of creativity at Ben Bolin on Instagram. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter some, at Ben Bolin HSW. And then hopefully you can uh, find me on this show in the future. Always be closing. Boom. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, everyone, we're going to take a short break. We're going to let Ben go and we'll be right back. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you wanna watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys, enjoy the next video.